Hello, hello, everybody on Internet Land. This is Michael Nerve, 2005. We're back for more. Wait for it. Skyward Sword. I'm, I'm not going to stop doing that. I'm probably going to stop doing it one day. But today's not that day, and uh, ne next stream slash recording session ain't going to really be any better. Okay, little Joy-Con, are you all right? Are you doing okay, buddy? Oh, I've got a slingshot. I can fire Deku seeds at your foes. The hard seeds will stun your enemies. Yay. <laughs> Look at my butt cheeks. With that slingshot, Queef, you should be able to find a path into the deep woods where the temple is. To start, why not try shooting that curled up vine over there? Yeah, they're rednecks. Fuck them. Gurons are getting the night off. Holy. ZR, ready your slingshot, Queef. And uh, release ZR to let the shot fly. If you run out of ammunition, just grab some seeds from the fruit that grows on the trees over there. <laughs> now go find that girl. I'll be rooting for you, Queef. <laughs> Alright. Okay, don't hold it down, just fucking go. Ah. Nintendo, why do you design your shit like this? Like the move and the aim button are gonna be the same as the shoot shit button. Alrighty then. Zoomies time. Boom! So I guess I go this way? Where's my Zelda at? Just gonna wander around like a jackass for a minute. Uh, I guess I need to go up here. Sure, let's go up here. Watch the timer because I want to do something that's a little kind of fucky. Link, I actually kind of want you to fall off because I'm mad. I mean, that, that, that smells right. That tracks. Oh, the f fucking hell. I'm pushing all the buttons. I guess I can't dive yet. Or if I can, I'm not smart enough to figure it out all on my own. Fuck you guys. 
Poop fucking shit, Hawks. Tracks. Ah! Let me lock on to one of you little bastards. I want to try something. Yeah, they're scared now. I got the... They got a fucking gun. I'm gonna pew 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 all over these bitches. Ah, at least the fight music's kind of a jam. Oh, I see, I see. <laughs> <laughs> Nuts in my mouth. So I got seeds. Seeds for my slingy. Please tell me I don't have to be accurate with this or I am switching to a fucking pro controller. Oops. This isn't Metroid. <laughs> mm -hmm. I keep pushing B because I want to roll. Plot? Question mark? Oh, Libby's going to be mad. There was. Deep woods. New Moon has half spoken. I must find my bird statue. Oh. Yeah, I'll be damned. And hell. What a good call, my friend. Bird statue. Save. See. Save. I'm just gonna climb up this just a little bit. Just the tip. You swing me right round, baby, right round like a record player. Hey. I said swing, damn it. God damn it. Still gonna roll, you can't fucking stop me, Nintendo. Oh, did you call all the shit, Hawks? Beast. You little bastard. One of them had to get a cheap hit on me. Mistakes are about to be made. I am just warning you. Will you stop aiming like a dumbass, dude? I'm not even control sticking. Problems got solved. Oh, where, 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 where's my seeds?
ammunition. So they inevitably get bored, but they're going to be annoying as piss. That tracks. Yeah, plant that son bitch right there. Come on, home slice. Karma's a bitch. I'm not even gonna be that nice. Bye, Felicia. Link, stop being a Melvin. Hold on, New Moon, I'll get to you. Who the fuck's Beetle? There's something in Skyloft, in the bazaar. I hate the controls to this game. I fucking hate the controls to this game. Oh shit! <laughs> Oops. So what the fuck's over here? I don't know, but I'm there's a bird statue. Oh, that's right. Uh, remind me how to summon... Oh, I have... Why are motion controls still a thing? Fucking aiming like having a heart attack. So what? Nintendo, quote me this. Not that you'll ever pay attention to me. What the actual fucking point is it to camp these little bastards out here if I can't do anything about them? I'm gonna be vindictive. Now I'm gonna poke him in the junk. Come on! Come on! Right in the dick. Yep. 
Gump. All right, we did the thing. We got the points. I can s All right. How do I summon the dumbass again? Blue da boo dee da boo da. Oh. Shit they don't explain in this game. Where's this big dumbass airship at? And or how do I summon it? I mean, I, I, I like flying. I play lots of flight sims. Where on Skyloft? Do you think I remember two days ago? Elevator going up! Why are you so fucking weird, Beetle? Hmm. Oh. oh! You've come all this way! It's so rare to have a customer! Beetle's Air Shop has everything you want. Please take a look around. And if you actually buy something, that would be even better. Oh! That'll increase the number of items you can carry in your adventure pouch by one. Oh! Oh, please look at the other things I have for sale. I'm not gonna read every time he says this shit. That's a life medallion. It bestows a bunch of mysterious and mystical effects on whoever carries it. What kind of effects? Don't ask me. I don't actually know. You should find out for yourself. I'm pretty sure it's a real bargain at a. Hey, 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 hey. Oh. Nope. Get in the Amazon version. Oh. That's an extra wallet. It's amazingly useful. With this, you can carry an extra 300 rupees in your wallet. Say goodbye to all those times you couldn't pick up another rupee because your wallet was stuffed full. Leave no rupee behind. Even if you must be able to see just how, or even you must be able to see just how useful this item is for 100 rupees. Oh! Oh! Bug catching that. We know what this does. Oh. All right. The bug catching that. Oh. 
I'm just looking at prices. But I imagine that's what you're trying to get me to get. Well, I don't have that money. So, bug catching net or revoting bug catching net? It's, it's that or the wallet. Oh, God, wait for chat to do a thing. catching that. Oh. Let's do it. I'll be back for that wallet, you dickhead. Now I can catch fairies and enslave them. Thank you. Give me strength to keep pedaling. I guess you shall exit. Oh, excuse me. I guess it doesn't really matter how I get out of here, it just matters which warp hole I go down. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, my intrusive thoughts literally just like let him slam into the clouds. Just once, I just wanna see. So is that my warp hole? It's gotta be. Or is it just magic and wherever I teleport back up from just the magical warp hole? Well, fuck it, let's find out. It is possible to descend in a specific bird statue on the surface after you have already visited it. I have memorized its location. To do this, point to the area you want to descend to with the finger and press A to confirm destination. Oh, deep, deep woods, right? Yeah. Descend into the this area? Let's see. Alright, so you just jump into the giant fucking buttholes. Are you gonna yell at me again, Fee? I didn't use my parachute like an adult. Oh, before we go, I got a thing I gotta read. So I've been playing with Chat GPT because fuck it, who hasn't? And I asked it to write the summary. You know, the sales pitch, essentially. At the back of the games back when we used to do that. Of Metal Gear Solid 6. I want to take a moment to read that for you guys. So you see me looking over here, guys, YouTubers? People on Twitch are kind of used to it. That's my computer monitor over there. That's where OBS and all the cool shit's at. 
And right now, my browser with chat GPT. <laughs> Let's get that movie announcer voice going. <clears throat> Metal Gear Solid 6, Shadows of Betrayal, takes place in a near-future world where private military corporations have risen to prominence, wielding immense power and influence. The story follows a former, a former soldier-turned-mercenary, Alex Mercer, who finds himself entangled in a web of conspiracies and personal vendettas. As the world teeters on the brink of a new global conflict, an enigmatic figure known as the Puppeteer emerges... The puppeteer possesses the ability to manipulate people's minds, turning them into obedient pawns. It becomes clear that the puppeteer's ultimate goal is to destabilize governments and plunge the world into chaos. Alex Mercer, haunted by his troubled past and seeking redemption, reluctantly joins forces with an underground resistance movement determined to expose the truth and stop the puppeteer's nefarious plans. Along the way, he encounters familiar faces from the Metal Gear Solid universe, including the legendary Solid Snake, who has resurfaced with a hidden agenda. As the layers of deception unravel, Alex discovers that the puppeteer's influence extends deep within the ranks of the private military corporations, as well as within his own personal circle. Loyalties are tested, alliances are shattered, and the line between friend and foe blurs. Have a scroll. Metal Gear Solid 6 Shadows of Betrayal combines tactical espionage action with complex narrative that explores themes of loyalty, identity, and the moral ambiguity of war. With stunning visuals, dynamic gameplay, and captivating storyline, players must navigate treacherous landscape of deception and make choices that will shape the destiny of the world. In this thrilling installment of the Metal Gear Solid franchise, prepare to question everything you thought you knew as you unravel the mysteries behind the shadows of betrayal. I literally put in, write a theoretical summary of Metal Gear Solid 6, and that's what the fuck I got. <laughs> well, since we're kind of out of stop and spot, it might be a little short for an episode of YouTube slash when I take a break. But let's save, because we just... Ruined the world with chat GPT. I've been fucking with it for the last 24 hours. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm still that drunk guy who likes to shit talk on the internet. But, there's a few brain cells still left that I haven't killed yet. Oh, excuse me. But yeah. <laughs> I mean, what else do we got? I got some time to kill. I'm totally cheating on a lot of things that I deleted. I did have it right, but I accidentally deleted it because I was trying to test how P not PG it would be, unfortunately. It is programmed not to be mean. Um... Well, that's all I got saved because I try to keep my list down. But yeah. I did make it right, and it was like probably like skit level, a bad Five Nights of Freddy's, and I wish I didn't accidentally delete it. Um, script. And I mean, it was like bad. It was literally like, the animatronics start dancing, and Michael Kaufman, or uh, Afton. Afton. I don't know what. Silent Hill, Michael Kaufman. The, the fucking dirtbag guy that runs the hospital. That's where I get my names confused. Afton. But they just called him Mike, and they're like, he's dancing, and then, like, the owner, co or uh, the animatronics are dancing and knocking shit over, and the owner comes in, and they're all sad, and it's... It was a thing. <laughs> Trust me, they'll, they'll, there'll be more adventures with ChatGPT. But on that note, you guys that are live, let's go ahead and go to break. You guys on YouTube... Hope you enjoy the next episode when it drops. This is Michael Nerve 2005. See ya. Well, if you enjoyed what you saw today, feel free to click the random video YouTube has picked for you up in this corner. Also, don't forget to subscribe right there and hit that notification button. We'll be doing uploads as much as I can off of my Twitch channel. 
Thank you. Have a wonderful day.